one of the things I was mentioning to you guys earlier. See inside there, the cabinet lights are still on. Even uh, if we turn all the dome lights off in here, that cabinet light is still on. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some LED lights inside that cabinet and the other cabinets with independent switches on them so we can turn all those off even when we have the dome light circuit on because we want the dome light circuit on so it will uh, turn these lights on when we open the door but we don't want anything else on the rest of the time. And there's a, a look out the front right now. All right, let me go get the lights and we will move on. All right, now we're inside on the workbench. Never mind my messy cabinets behind me. It's at kind of a weird angle so you can see me and what I'm doing. These are the lights that I mentioned earlier that we're going to put in those cabinets. 12 volts, LED. Come with uh, switches on them so we can turn them on and off. That way anytime that dome light circuit is active, they'll be energized but not on. You reach inside the cabinet, flip the light on, do what you got to do, turn the light off. And that way we can have lights where we need it and not burn power that we don't need to burn. Alright, so what we're going to do real quick, see how these look hooked up to bench power supply just before we start messing with them inside the uh, cabinet and then notice I got N positive on one wire and N negative on the other which is a little bit different usually white or red is positive and the black is ground or, or negative but that's the way they're marked. That's the way we're going to use them. So we'll put the uh, put the ground on the negative. Put the red on the positive, even though that looks wrong. Hooking the red wire to the black wire. Got too much stuff behind me. All right. Make sure those don't touch. Turn on our power supply. I've got it set for 12 volts right now. These should tolerate a little bit more, just in case like the alternator's running or something like that. Running 12.2 volts on the power supply. Turn the switch on. We have lights. There we go. Fairly bright light. Put it in the cabinet, shining down. Should light up everything well enough. But the, anytime the dome light's on, this will be active. When you're not in the cabinet, you turn it off. You need to turn on and see something in there, you turn it on, move it around, do whatever you got to do, turn it off. The big reason for going to LED is say somebody goes in there, they turn it on, get it over they need to out of the cabinet, shut the door and walk away, leave the light on. Lights will still be on, but it won't be burning nearly as much energy, and the LEDs won't get hot enough to burn the lenses. That's one of the problems that the ones that are in there have is the middle part of the lens has been melted and corroded because the incandescent bulbs get so hot. All right, now that we know what they look like, we're going to go find one cabinet and install this one and see how it goes. All right, here's that outer cabinet. This is the view from the other side. I've got my flashlight stuck in there so I can see in a minute, but I'm going to pull that light out. Put one of our new LED ones up in there so I can turn this off when I have the dome lights on. So I'm going to climb up in there with a screwdriver and start taking things apart. I'm not going to record this section because there's nowhere I can put the camera where you're going to be able to see. So I'll just take a couple of snapshots along the way. So this is what we're starting with. <laughs> Here we are, I've got this one disconnected. As you see, there's only one wire. One of the things to keep in mind with this is it uses the uh, the backing as a ground. So the three screws that held it together, once you bolt it in, it lights up. 
There we go. So I'm going to put the new ones in. I'm going to have to use one of those wires as a ground. We got that light installed much, much brighter. You can see how dark it is outside. It's nighttime now. That's what the inside of that cabinet looks like to compare with. This one doesn't have any light at all. A little bit of reflected light. And this one has the old light in it. Let's we'll see, uh, we'll get that one done in another day or two. Ugh. But you get done working in the cabinet, reach up here. Turn the light off. Nice and dark. And we're done.